out here we are seeing a hand of a person who is aged 61 right now and uh, he has taught in IIT also he has done PhD also and uh, he has had many oppositions in his life major oppositions for that he went to court and sometimes he got relief and few times uh, he is yet to get uh, a order from the court uh, so we are trying to see how his hand is and uh, he had been in the he had taught in the IIT uh, and uh, so uh, and he has tra widely traveled uh, and uh, given lectures delivered lectures in foreign universities as well and got lots of appreciation so first we are going to look at each aspect of his palm first we are going to see this is the mercury area the fourth finger the shortest finger is the mercury finger and whenever a person has got perpendicular lines over it or lesser lines over it and deep and clear lines over it it is considered to be good uh, the deeper the line the better it is considered to be it means that the person has got a set of skills which he has sharpened very well and uh, uh, if there is one line, one skill, two lines, two skills and three lines, three skills. Uh, more the lines, the better. Uh, it, it, it doesn't mean that more the lines, the better it is. It's just that these lines should be deep and clear. That's, that's it. And uh, if, if these lines are very, very faint, then it would be basically meaning that the person is not, might not have given enough energies to his work. Uh, or he might not have sharpened his skills so probably that's a reason those people do not rise up to high places some people have got wavy kind of line even those are not considered to be good this person doesn't have it some people have got broken kind of line even those things are not good uh, some people have got very very thin very thin uh, I can't draw a thin line but uh, uh, very thin lines also are indications that the person might not have sharpened their skills so in his case perpendicular lines are good if they were uh, if they were horizontal lines uh, uh, they would have meant as something bad it means like the uh, like the area is getting segmented and divided or people have these kind of lines even those are not considered to be good only perpendicular lines are considered to be good uh, so in this aspect what his life has been uh, I would say that uh, it shows good indications uh, regarding the mercury area and mercury areas for the communication part uh, business skills communication skills all the technical skills uh, be it biotechnology or be it uh, IT technology information technology in every sphere these people are basically extremely good the other sign to see is that uh, we are seeing the heart line the heart line is very deep and clear and these this line doesn't have any branches over it it doesn't it, it is not broken kind it is not it doesn't have a island kind all those are ba basically wrong indications a line like a deep and clear line is considered to be good some people have got a broad kind of a line even that is not considered to be good it would mean basically the person is taking stress but in, in, in this case, when a person has got deep and clear line without any branches, it means that the person is stressless. So this is the basic quality a person should have to achieve success. And whoever has uh, this kind of a line uh, are surely successful. And uh, uh, it also means that they are practicing detachment. By detachment, we mean what Gita says, being in the moment without having expectation of the outcome so uh, so this is uh, uh, right from childhood this particular nature has been there and it would always be there in his life so that's the reason these people uh, do make a solid mark uh, in, in their life uh, they could be uh, uh, at very high positions also and they could be uh, at a low position also but these people show have satisfaction in their life uh, 
and this is what is seen by satisfaction we do not mean that uh, they get satisfied and they don't do anything it's just that what they are doing they are, they are they are happy with it and uh, they are content with it and they give their best to their work so that's that's what is seen for success so uh, uh, even this part, this aspect is good now we come to the sun line the sun line uh, uh, there is not one but uh, two or three sun lines so we will take up uh, each one of them this is the headline and any line above it is basically before the age of 35 from here to here this age to this age is 35 to 53 from uh, from this point to this point this age is around 30 33 to around 44 and uh, the line from here comes and stops on the heart, uh, heart line so it something changes at the age of 53 then something comes up for one or two years this is from 53 to 55 approximately and then a solid line is there and again this line is a stranding line uh, and uh, perpendicular line so these lines are, are also going on the apex of the mound so whenever uh, the line goes on the apex of the mound it is considered to be good and the last line this line is uh, the best line which automatically means that the person has got has given good energies to their work because this is the cell line when people have got dim lines over it dim lines are basically lines of doubt but as the person progresses in life things uh, things basically change and uh, uh, and uh, this is the left hand we are seeing uh, you would find that the on the mount of mercury also the person has got a perpendicular solid line so very very good skills the sun line is also very good after the age of 55 uh, again a good indication during this particular period the line is not so good uh, dim a little bit dim line uh, so that doesn't show good indications but out here the line is solid so somewhere from the early age to the age of uh, 30 uh, 33 34 it might be in good looks like formation so some problems might have cropped up somewhere around at the age of uh, 31 or 32 so uh, so this is what the left hand uh, is showing now we move back to the right hand because the right hand is the active hand to refer to and uh, and we see another very good indication in his hand uh, this is the lifeline and this is the supporting lifeline so supporting uh, lifeline is seen in the hands of people this is the Mars line or supporting lifeline it is basically indicating that somebody or the other is going to be standing next to this particular person and uh, would be there all through throughout his life uh, as the line is starting from the mount of Mars this is the mount of Mars this is the mount of aggression and fire uh, it means that these people are basically fighters and they fight uh, fighter doesn't mean like uh, getting angry and uh, destroying everything uh, by fighter we mean they have the positive energies to stand up against against uh, higher up people uh, and they are able to win against them uh, because the fighting skills are there the uh, the fire within them is always there so this line is uh, uh, is there till the end of the life which automatically means till the end of his life he is going to be uh, he is going to remain a fighter and he would be known for this particular skill that he has and uh, it can be seen in the hands of uh, lawyers and journalists or even in the hands of businessmen so uh, even if they have got very strong competitors it can be in the hands of police officer or it can be seen in the hand of army officer any any field wherever uh, the person is they are able to fight against people who are opposing them or seniors or they are able to fight against a very difficult circumstance so uh, mars is basically a fighter planet we also have to see if uh, if this uh, this area is good or bad uh, I, I, I feel that the area is uh, excellent because there are fewer lines over it. So uh, this uh, this person did tell me that uh, uh, during uh, during many years in his life, uh, 
uh, he was opposed his brothers uh, uh, and family members di did not support him although the uh, this is the lifeline so any this area basically belongs to inside the family when a person has got a good amount of mass these people do get support from brother and father but uh, uh, he himself said that uh, the brothers and family or, or father he didn't say father but he said brother did not support him uh, and his father uh, died sometime uh, when I think when he was 28 that's what uh, I think he, I remember uh, and that's when he got a job in uh, government job uh, from central government so what we, uh, we what we can make out is that in spite of his brothers not supporting him uh, they would not have been able to harm him probably uh, uh, he might have like just moved away from them and uh, and uh, and fought his way in his life and uh, that might have brought him result so uh, so uh, probably this can be uh, seen in the in in his hand uh, once we see a supporting lifeline uh, in itself it is a major source of success and a few people have it and few people have it in such a solid fashion so people do have it but some people have a very dim kind of a line very very dim kind of a line dim lines have got lesser significance compared to a solid line uh, we are seeing the money line money line is uh, starting uh, from the amount of moon so uh, amount of moon is help from outside people uh, he did get uh, help from somewhere outside people uh, he mentioned uh, and uh, and it could be uh, work in outside country or appreciation from uh, uh, outside the country all these things also can be say but the line kind of ends somewhere at the uh, uh, before it touches the uh, before it touches the headline so uh, so that's when some major thing might have happened money line uh, ending of money line uh, uh, is not considered to be good uh, as uh, uh, as be, uh, it, it might mean change of work or divorce or uh, father's ill health uh, or uh, more responsibility coming to this particular person's uh, life so a new line comes up somewhere at the age of uh, new money line comes somewhere at the age of 35 and uh, remains till the age of uh, till the age of uh, 53 and this line is kind of uh, targeting it's not purely going towards the amount of Saturn it's not going towards the amount of Saturn it is kind of going if we draw imaginary line so it is kind of going towards the amount of Jupiter so Jupiter is basically for not not for money it is basically for public life it could be uh, or uh, social life uh, or social good what you do, do in your life if the line goes straight to the amount of Saturn it would mean accumulation of wealth but in his case we don't see but in spite of that also uh, the person doesn't have a bad amount of uh, of Saturn and Saturn is basically for possessions and money and all these things so when we don't see any bad sign then uh, the there there are limitless possibilities a person might have and uh, the we can see a little bit of a wild like formation so lots of benefits might come somewhere after the age of 54 that's when many things might happen so uh, uh, position also and uh, money also might come up succumb uh, during those years he did mention that he lost uh, lost uh, lots of money also uh, uh, and uh, uh, during one particular period so but but still uh, uh, I would say that uh, when people lose money they they lose hope and they basically kind of uh, lose direction but when we see the heart line to be intact very deep and clear simple kind of a heart line it means that the person even uh, after having uh, like lost uh, lost lots of money and uh, these things he did not build stress inside him he, he was kind of detached 
uh, like that money went away so uh, that went away it, it, it didn't uh, it didn't uh, like affect him and it didn't pull him down uh, he is worried right now that w w what's going to happen in the later years but I would say that uh, he should live life to the fullest the way he has been living and uh, lots can be expected uh, uh, in his life we also see a money triangle like this is the mercury line this is the money line and the head line. it's called the money triangle again it's uh, it is considered to be good uh, good indication to have and uh, and uh, he did uh, mention few things like uh, like weekend for years had to stay with friends as no personal home he had and return more than two decades for medical treatment of friends and family and relatives he had to bear all those expenses uh, and uh, the person of hiring took advantage of taking free services in the name of friendship the friends do sold his shares without his knowledge around the age of 34 so probably uh, the that money line which is ending out here this could be uh, the signal that uh, he lost money at the age of 34 ending of money line uh, completed postgraduate in the age of 39 uh, and uh, about 1990 family dispute with the director on concoct on concocted grounds director in 1994 put, uh, put him in suspension uh, he filed a high court case uh, and uh, restoration of job I won in inquiry so he said he did win in inquiry so this is what is seen if if a person has got a solid uh, Mars line solid Mars line uh, it is it is sure sign that these people would win cases and it would be hard to uh, like pull them down so it's a beautiful sign to have and it, it is not there just for one year but it is for all throughout the life uh, he did biotechnology uh, PG course age 29 to 49 uh, PG courses uh, took a challenge and got IIT PhD admission in 2004 at the age of uh, 44 he completed admission at the age of 48 and completed at the age of 56 so he started at the age of 48 uh, to do his PhD and he did complete that too uh, so uh, so uh, we can see that the headline is very straight so these people are very headstrong kind of people and clarity of mind and practicality is seen but we regarding the area of PhD uh, we see these solid uh, perpendicular lines over the Mount of Mercury need not be that these people uh, uh, like in this case he did PhD but every person who has got these perpendicular lines need not be very well educated but they know their calculations they they have a skill they have sharpened their skills this is what matters most so uh, uh, and uh, uh, he did have many enemies in his life but uh, uh, but he he would come out of every possible uh, uh, problem and he has another case pending but I'm sure he's going to win over it that's it for this particular reading and uh, thank you for watching if you like the video click on the like button and do subscribe thanks again for watching